Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Good Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2. What's up, buddy? Hi, Ink. Hi. He's like, what? <laughs> I said starting, and I don't think... You are a YouTuber? <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, yes. Um, tonight I kind of wanted to, like, run up and get some lava wood for no particular reason except I haven't used a fire axe in forever. Do I not have a fire axe? Oh, it's worried. Hold on. I've got another fire axe somewhere, right? There's like a... Hold on. Hold on. I got... There it is. I knew I had one. Let's go get some lava wood. Bro. Sup. Um, by the way, you are being recorded, so private chats <laughs> are seen by all. Winky face. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Oh, and a reminder to you, if you're not subscribed, and here's the thing, people have been doing this whole, like, I don't I see nine percent of you subscribe, dude. I know how many people are not subscribed to me. There's, it's almost as bad as saying if you don't subscribe right now, there'll be a spider in your bed tonight. That right there, kind of like, it sets me off. Like, no, it's not. It's not going to happen. Why are you lying to people? And I know that it's supposed to be like this joke and everything. I don't know. <clears throat> it still feels wrong. To be like, I only see 9% of my viewers subscribed. Dude, if you're watching this video right now and you do subscribe, kudos. That's bonus for me. If you're watching the video, period, thank you. You're here. You're watched. Thank you. And better yet, why did you stay on my channel? <laughs> if you stayed here just for me, thank you so much. I appreciate it. But, <clears throat> I don't know. There, there's just something that makes me mad when people... Put an ultimatum on something. Can you send me money, bro? Uh, I only have one mil. Sorry. How about I give you what I make from the firewood I'm about to go get? One run of lava wood for you, sir. Nice. Na, 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 ka, na, kika, na, ki, na, sika, na, sika. The, oh, or did you want in? Here, you can ride with me. I don't mind. Hold on. Settings, ink, sit in seats, uh, and drive vehicles. I'll let you drive vehicles because I, I don't have anything with a whole bunch of stuff in it, I don't think. Yeah, you're good. Come on, buddy. <coughs> Going to the lava wood. Oh. B A underscore boy two. I'm going to go get some lava wood and will give you the profits I make. It's for a video. Okay? Yes. <clears throat> oh. It will be more than 5k. <laughs> yeah. Just hang tight. It takes a second. I'll give you muns. Actually, here. Let's make him go with me. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. <laughs> Bro! Hold on, please. <laughs> I, I hate it when people are annoying like that. Don't be annoying. Sorry. And it's not, I'm not telling you that you're annoying. Just come on. Read the text. Read what I just said. I think that's a big difference is the patience of people online seems to have disappeared. Oh, I got to tell you something. I'm scared. So I was thinking about this. Whenever Google came around and we got the search engine as a new tool and people stopped like researching stuff on their own, 
the internet took over, right? And now we're getting super scared about AI. I, hold on. Is that music super loud? It's like hurting my face. Zipping around. Boom, boom, bam, boom, go, boom, 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 boom. So the thing that scares me about AI is the fact that we're going to start seeing workforce depleting. People who are going to college to get skills, to do jobs, we're going to see that starting to go down. We are going to see a decrease in people's efforts to try and to research themselves. I just, I feel, I feel it coming. It's, it's a bad deal. Okay. We're going to flip this tree. Flip it that way. Flip it one more time. Oh, almost, almost. See this corner right here. We need to drop it so it lands over there. This is like some old school stuff for how to get to lava woods. All right, you're going over the top. And almost. If you guys don't know how I'm flipping the trees, there is a, uh, whoa, good distance. A little rough on the landing. He may have to take the bronze. But you can see um, some of the old videos that I've got on how to do the same thing. Basically, um, the way that you flip a tree is you stand on the opposite side, the opposite direction, facing the opposite direction that you want the tree to go. Then you click and grab, right? And if it's heavy, hold shift and then press S and it'll start to, to rotate. Here's where the trick comes into play. It can't rotate into the ground. So the point goes above your head. The, the, the little, this thing, the blue ball goes above your head. So it's trying to find center again where your mouse is but it can't so it goes flying i mean it could but we just happen to find the technique to get it to flip around this is why i scored really high in three-dimensional spaces and comprehensions anyway i wonder if bro stuck around let go oh no jump out I'm on my head. I'm back. I'm up. I'm down. I'm standing up. <laughs> Turn. Zabam. There we go. All right. The way that I used to do this before was crazy stack the wood, but you gotta you gotta chop it all up first. So okay, that's not gonna work for me. So let's go to one drop, four drop, pick up the axe. It becomes one, and then that one becomes four. So now I should be able to just choppy chop chop. Four, five, six. Took six chops. Lava axe isn't powerful enough. Game's unplayable. Of course, after the maniacs. Oh. Okay. Hold on. I need this to go this way. Right? Yes, that's what I did. Okay. So the base of these trees should, should, okay, <clears throat> should be even. So, there you go. Put it in there like that. Then we can take these and slide them underneath. Well, there's one. Maybe that one will be a little bit shorter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Let's slide this the other way. Jump. All right. Come off of there. You go up there for a second. Oh, I forgot. It's non collide. Can collide? Non collide? I don't know. I don't remember what the property name is called. I thought it was collide, but. Thinking of it now, I don't think it is. I think it might be physical. Is physics? I don't know. I tend to get a lot of properties, name, naming schemes, and stuff like that, um, because I've worked with so many languages. Um, for example, like perms. Perms is something that comes from Second Life. 
And whenever you're trying to give permissions to an object, it's called perms. Which is permission. It's just a different way of saying it. Okay, I'm not walking all the way over there. Come on, buddy. Oh gosh, it all slid. See, and this is what happens when you physics. Is bro still here? No, bro's gone. <sighs> bro. Hold on. Whoa, what in the world? Okay, we're just gonna have to fix that in a second. All right, let's go ahead and chop first. Oops, one more. Where'd it go? Slap. Slap chop. <clears throat> Do you guys remember the commercial for Slap Chop with Vince? Oh man, it's a great song too. Watch this. <clears throat> there was something I was going to talk about. In fact, I, I had like a really good topic of discussion and I completely forgot what it was. Um, would you guys want to see something, oh, I remember what it was. Would you want to see something on Roblox that pertains to school? Like, I don't know, a Roblox classroom where all the people inside there are actual students and you can actually get grades from the actual teacher, stuff like that. I was trying to figure out a way to turn Roblox into a classroom for actual students, actual like schools and stuff. Okay, let's see if this is right size, nope. All right, right size, nope. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take all the small pieces, all the schmalls, stick them. Oh, come on. There we go, there we go. In there like that. We're gonna try and maximize the space given. Drop it flat, slide, slide. Come on, why is it not doing it? There we go. See, and this is why I think VR would be, are you just gonna drive the whole thing down there? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Good luck, dude. I mean, yeah, more power to you. You guys like this song? It's by Kevin MacLeod. Kevin McLeod. It's one of those free songs that he made. Well, it's not, it's not free. It's like Creative Commons or something like that, which means you can use it free without worry of copyright strikes or copyright law to be fair. As long as you have attributions, you have to attribute. Uh, oh, speaking of which, all of my videos, every single one of my videos on Code Primate is Creative Commons. So if you wanted to, you can take any section of my videos or the entirety of the video, as long as there's attribution, which means it came from Heath Haskins Code Primate, use them anywhere you want. If you wanted like make a remix or uh, how many times code cussed, which I don't think I've ever cussed on. I, I take that back on my other channel, Zero Decaf Cop. I curse on there. So, and that's, that's the whole reason for that channel too. Code Primate, Zero Decaf Coffee. The same Code Primate, unfiltered. I like it. Uh, Jeremy made the, the logos and stuff over there. Uh, I think... Didn't Cootie make... Didn't you make a... You made Subnautica intro one time. I was doing a competition during the Subnautica thing and somebody did... Uh, did uh, a Subnautica intro for me. Loved it. It's awesome. In fact, I think I used it on my next Subnautica video after that. Anyhow, sorry, I'm getting distracted from what I'm supposed to be doing, which is 
collecting wood. Come on, baby. We've got to get all this back down so we can pay people like Boy, whatever his name was. Hold on, where's the chat? Boy. Ba boy. Ba boy. Ba boy. Sounds like a minion. <clears throat> There's a happy little tree. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Oh gosh. Alright, flatten that out. There we go. Now we can get on there. I probably could have gotten another tree. In fact, I know I could. But I really don't want to have to walk back up there. So, we'll just go like this for now. Alright. Tap. If I press and hold, then I have to go at a certain minimum speed. Please don't turn too fast. There we go. That way it doesn't do that. You have to be careful, otherwise like it'll all go flying off. Oh no, did I run over it? Oh no, it's lifted off my back, back wheels. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hmm. What did he need? He, he said he was wanting 5,000, right? 5,000. What's the difference in between non planked and planked lava? Hold on. I'm going to go look up the wiki real quick. Come here, wiki lumber. Lumber wiki. <clears throat> There it is. Elmwood was changed today? What? Oh. It's just, okay. Never mind. All right, let's go to wood. There we go. And we are looking for lava. Lava, 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 lava. Was it called firewood? Lava wood? All right, we got elm, walnut, cherry, snow glow, pink. Pink wood. Okay. Oak, birch, koa, test, fir, pine, volcano wood. Why are you calling it volcano wood? I know it's on the volcano, but I mean, it's firewood. Because you have to have the fire axe. <sighs> Never mind. I'm not arguing with the wikis. Um, 17 minutes. Oh, average grow time. Got it. All right. So it's $3.05 versus 28 when it's planked. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, we're going to go plank these. All right. Oh, if I can get going forward... Let it coast down the weight of the wood. If I push forward, it actually slows me down. So um, somebody was talking about this the other day. This, oh gosh. They were like, hey, Code, did you know if you, oh gosh, stop moving. If you let go of the accelerator, you'll coast down car, uh, downhill faster. I know. Um, we learned that technique with lava wood. In fact, this was the way that I used to get all my money before uh, Icewood. Now that Icewood's here, or Ghost, not Ghostwood. Ghostwood's the, uh... what's up, buddy? Oh, gosh. No lava left behind. It's Friday, my dudes. I oh, don't know. I, uh, I said that to my kids this morning, and I was like, it's Thursday, my dudes. And they said, dude, that's a, like a dead meme. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think that was ever a meme. I think it was, I don't know, it was somebody's intro. 
I thought. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. There we go. Okay, okay, that's good. This will not work, because the moment I respawn, it's going to uh, place all the wood sideways. All right, hold on, hold on. There's a weird bug that happens where if you have stuff in the back of your truck and you stop, it settles and you don't get to drive anymore. Whoa, okay, jump out, jump out. No, 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 stay, stay, stay. <laughs> All right, hold on, rank, boop, there we go. All right, get back up there. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, oh, check it out, it's my thumbnail. Does that work? I don't know. I don't know if that works. Hold on. Let's get a better better angle. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I just have to remember that I'm using that as my thumbnail. Alright, let's let's get going here. This is this is ridiculous. Boom. Wait, 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 wait. What are we turning into? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> that would have been bad. We're gonna do uh, selling off only. So we have to do a little bit of calculating. 1,089,219. Can I just push and hold? I cannot push and hold. All right, let me, let me write this down. Notepad. We currently have, what is this? Uh, okay, close that. Close that, there we go, untitled. We have 1,089,219. All right, let's go sell off some wood. Drop. Ugh. Come on, drop. Hold on, will that actually take it off of the other one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. What's up, mad mom? What's up, girl? Just hanging out, chilling? I've talked to Jeremy in a tweet and basically I told him it feels like Code Primate's retirement home. <laughs> If you're out there playing Roblox, just swing by Lumber and Code Primary will not be in there in his retirement home, building his base, piddling around. I don't know. It just, it felt like... Something consistent, something stable. I don't know if you guys were feeling it too, but that's what my channel felt like on yesterday's video. Out of all the things I could have watched or gone to, and I found the one video that was still <laughs> Code Primate Heath Haskins and I don't know. I feel, I feel like my videos are different. I feel like my videos are not following the YouTube formula, following the, the logarithm. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to. I don't know. I know what I can do. Hold up. Hold up. I know what I can do. Watch this. Hold well on. Let's use some of this because that's, that's what I want to use. We need a door. Grab that, throw it in there, move this. Uh, actually, we're going to um, move it, turn it, rotate it, turn it again. Now we're going to open it. Now if we move it, I'm going to move it under my car. 
poop. <laughs> That's how to do it, right there. <clears throat> I don't know. Is this is this considered skills? Being able to do this movement and make it look look all smooth and stuff. I don't know. How did you get stuck in there? Oh gosh. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> oh no. All right. Does it not? What? Oh, there it goes. Okay. It's just like a lag spike or something going on. Crazy. If you were to lift all four at one time, you could... Whoa. I just had a really weird idea, thought. It'd take a lot of wires. You wouldn't be able to use wires because the wires would get in the way. That's the only way that you can close the handles. What could you use? I guess you could use trapdoors. <gasps> trapdoors. Okay, so if you were to set up a whole bunch of trapdoors that work like here's the flat level. So here's the flat level ground. And you have um, trapdoors that will lift like this off the ground like that much right? But then you put a whole bunch of them together in series, set up some delay timers, and if they all lifted in concession, like one, two, three, four, five, six, and you had them delayed on the way up, you could make an elevator for a truck or for a car for vehicles. Because I've seen the elevators before, but for an entire car, you'd have to be sitting in it because it'd have to be physical whenever it's moving. Hmm. Idea for future videos. <clears throat> All right, let's go sell some stuff. You going with? Come on, jump in. There you go. Get into my car. Get out of my mind. Get into my... <clears throat> I said, hey, you. Get into my car. That's an old school song. Like, when I say old school, it's like 80s. <laughs> 80s wasn't that long ago, Cold. Yeah, it was. Think about it. The 80s was 43 years ago. 43 years. No, 44 years. <gasps> That's okay. I'm excited about time because here's the thing. I don't know when humanity will eventually breach the escape velocity for death, but if you look at the pattern of exponential life expectancy from like 50 years ago, right? The life expectancy goes down by like 10 years. It goes down by... 20 years or it goes up so the first 50 becomes the first 70 the first 70 becomes the first 80 eventually like the year that we can add one year of life to a human is the year that we will ex like escape the death but here's the other thing um cells dna humans we actually age partly due to radiation from the sun and from cell damage. So all those cool little uh, neutrinos and photons that come from our sun, which is hydrogen, by the way. Um, 
hydrogen. Hydrogen. Hydrogen was actually one of the first atoms to be created. Hydrogen born from water in Latin. Hydro meaning water. Gin meaning born. Waterborn. Which is funny because what is water? H2O. So hydrogen is born from water? Mm -mm -mm. Hydrogen came first. Silly Latins. <clears throat> they wouldn't be called Latins, would they? Latin? Yeah, it would be Latin. You speak Latin. Actually, I'm probably not that good on my geographies and histories. I'm more of a logic and analytics kind of person. But that's in part of my ADHD. Oh, by the way, people who were asking about ADHD in, in Saint Code, thank you for explaining and telling and sharing your experiences. Dude, I'm telling you just as it is. Like, how my ADHD affects me and how I handle it and what seems to be working in life. Um, it, it, yeah, what I do seems to work in life. Find a really good computer programming job and make sure that you're really into code. <laughs> I've been seeing all these advertisements of like, don't play mobile games, don't scroll on TikTok, go learn programming. And I've seen a whole bunch of ADHD ads, so I don't know where my analytics got messed up, but I never look anything up about ADHD. So I think either like one of my kids or um, my wife is looking up ADHD on my phone. Something happened. I don't know. Oh, oh gosh. I do take ADHD medicine. Um, I take Welbutrin. And Welbutrin is supposed to be, I think, for anxiety? They also use it as like a smoking suppressant or something. Like to stop smoking, take Welbutrin. I don't know why it works, but when I take Welbutrin... The effect that it has on my brain is concentration. It kind of quiets out all the other noise so I can concentrate on one thing at a time. <clears throat> um, I need to explain noise. When I say noise, it's not physical sounds. Um, it's my brain. Hi, Mad Bob. Get into my cup. <clears throat> the noise that I'm talking about is over-analyzing thinking of everything and I'm talking down to like the most basics of things that you do around the house um, boiling water I could sit there and boil water and get distracted about the how and whys of water For example, we have a gas grill, all right? And the gas is made out of propane. Propane is a combination of uh, a couple of different chemicals, right? And that, those chemicals have to be produced and made inside the lines or inside the company that sends it to my house. When we place a spark on it, it actually causes combustion, which is also chemistry, where we add heat to an element. And watch this. Conveyor belt. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So let's go. Oh my gosh. Sorry, dude. Did he just jump through me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. And cops are going to come pull me over. And, what are you doing, Cole? All right. Boom. All right. Where does. Where does. Are you. What are you doing? What are you doing back there? I see you. I see you. All right. I think that's it for today. Mad Mom for to join. And if you guys want to join me, absolutely. And you should be able to come in and join me on any game that you want. Um, I might not talk to you. I might not have the chat open, but like, yeah, if you want to e-dance slash e-dance. You can dance if you want to. Oh, that's the wrong dance. E-dance. You can dance if you want to. I guess the animation stops because it's got a different weight. Yay. <laughs> I
I've never danced with the axe before. Hi, Code. Hiya. Hi. Outro time. We're doing an outro. Sorry, dude. Oh, I need to take down the next number. Uh, one one zero three three seven two. So that is one million one hundred and three thousand three hundred and seventy two. Bust out my handy dandy blues blues calculator here. Uh, one one zero three three seven two minus one zero eight nine two one nine. Enter. So we made fourteen thousand off of that one run, and that guy was asking me for five k. I mean, you guys do the math. Can you give me a wood? <laughs> Literally, we are just talking about it. Which which kind of wood you're needing? What kind, dude? Here, I'll I'll deal with him in just a second. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of uh, Lumber Tycoon 2 on this amazing Friday where you get to watch anytime you want. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good youtuber does but it's your choice if you want to go for it if not that's cool too you were here you watched you had fun oh you want spookwood yeah absolutely um you watched you were here you had fun oh <laughs> i love you for that don't f um yeah i think that's it don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things. So call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTube does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here. You watched. You had fun. I love you for that. Um, yeah, I, I completely forgot the rest of my outro. Oh. <gasps> you were here. You watched. You had fun. And I love you. That's a good thing to end on. So, all right. Let's do outros. <coughs> Steven, hit the button. No, the outro button. No, the... the... <sighs> outro.